M. That's my dream car. Let's see what they got. The idea today was to fuck up a rental car, but we're just fucking up renting cars. Maybe I could rent a plane. That'll go. Maybe I should find that guy's Facebook page. You know what says. Just to, just to fuck with this guy. Here's the thing. I know that racist little twerp is going to call the airport location and he's going to say, be on the lookout for a guy in a green hat. You might mention the fact that I'm 6'5", 280 pounds, looking like I could devastate his life with one move. But are they going to recognize a guy who's not in a green hat? Hmm? Just to fuck with this guy and ruin his day so that he knows how I feel, I'm going to take it out on myself. And I'm going to disfigure myself and just throw everything away just so this guy knows like what a douchebag he was to me. What if I just get in a brutal car accident, smash my throat through the A-pillar, and my face is disfigured and burn? Some of these thoughts are real. Anyway, going to the airport, going to see if they have any cars. Hello. Yeah, Chuck. Where you at? We're in the parking garage right now. Mm -hmm. Well, we're coming down. Uh, we're just, we just got to be a little, uh, the airport. Okay. And, and for our time. All right. Mm -hmm. We did, we did not get a car. We struck out. They took me in the back. They took me in the men's room and pulled my pants down. And humiliated me. Yeah, they laughed at how small your asshole was. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> So as usual, I managed to screw this one up again. I guess there must be something wrong with me. It's because I didn't have a credit card. I only had debit cards. Because I have not signed my life away. So we're going to go ahead and go down the street to a non-airport rental location and see if they'll take a measly debit card. Maybe they'll take lottery tickets. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to tell us. But um, I don't get it. People trust me with their daughters all the time. I don't need a credit card for that. Where do we begin? This premium full-size SUV is so packed with features, I don't even know where to start my review. Now you could say, Sam, maybe you could have gone through a list and typed it up before you came here. Are you smoking crack? Sam, you could have come up with a script and done this any way other than what you're doing, which is driving into the middle of the woods and improvising. I've never been this horny, and let me tell you why. It's because we're here in front of the Infiniti QX80. This is the highest form of luxury that Infiniti offers. It's smooth. This is like cyber skin right here. It's a cyber skin dildo on the hood. That's a nice texture. We got a whole, we got a whole bunch of stuff coming. It's new. God forbid you hit a pedestrian. What's the first thing you're thinking? Did I damage my car? Ah. Ah. No? Let me prove my further point. Is infinity gonna slow down because of ice? No! No way! Are you kidding me? This is Japanese engineering at its